Hi, Mazhar. He was born and raised in India. Yes, how are you? And graduated in fine arts in Calcutta. When he visited Yemen in his early yeah. 20s, he decided to settle there because uh, he loved the old city of Sana'a and the rich uh, history, the culture, and was inspired. He, he's proud to represent his country uh, nationally and internationally. He has done more than 25 solo shows and his main subject of painting is women um, as he pays great uh, honor and respect to women. Uh, uh, Mazhar participated in international watercolor uh, group shows in 2016 in Jaipur Summit in India and in Hong Kong. And he was one of the top 100 virtual uh, with a virtual group show in 2020. The hoopoe bird is his uh, symbol in a lot of his paintings, you will notice. Look for the hoopoe bird. Um, and recently, uh, which he's going to talk about now, is his uh, exhibition called Frozen Lives. Welcome, Mazhar. Hello, how are you? Tana is full sunlight here. I'm so <laughs> happy I'm sitting in front in my studio. Uh, I'm having a nice time. Okay. <laughs> this is my world where I am always there in my studio. Uh, we have a series, actually this last six years. Mm -hmm. Hello. Yes. Uh, yes, yeah, we are A last six years we are going through war and this six, we are in the sixth year and you will be surprised that uh, we are, most of us are used to this kind of life where mm -hmm. uh, suddenly you will hear the sound of bomb coming up you know in, by early morning or maybe late night through this our life continues and um, as i said i'm always happy in my studio working and we have no we don't know what will be the future but uh, uh, every day is for us is is very important and we try to do something on behalf of our country to do something uh, to remember this uh, is uh, what you call our bad days of war. And uh, we are trying our best. Uh, I'm always uh, busy. Mm -hmm. I'm always busy uh, working uh, with the woman, of course, as you said, the Hopi bird, bringing message from uh, a, a good message. Mm -hmm. Bringing a good message is my motto. So we, I always hope, you know, before the war and after, now we are during the war. And inshallah, we hope that uh, there is a better future for Yemen. I'm, uh, I'm always positive. I'm always positive. I never, uh, uh, I, I'm very optimistic and I try to avoid any kind of... Uh, uh, negative thought in my mind. Yes. The point is, uh, I have done a series of work, series of work, and this is a particular series which I call Frozen Life. You can very well share understand. Now. Okay, I sorry, I was okay. trying to share it and I kept bringing up something else. So we will share it and we will uh, yeah, talk yeah. about it. So, um, yeah. the they're very... Uh, mostly... Go on. Yeah. I will explain it. Uh, the frozen life is, if you see, uh, I have, I'm very known for using many, many techniques in my life. For the last 35 years, I've been, I've been very much known for my techniques. Every year, I will never stick to one technique, actually. So if you see here, uh, it is a frozen feeling. It is gray, black and white painting. And uh, frozen means there is no color. No, I see no color in the frozen life. But if you see, there is a crystal feeling all over the body. The time has stopped in Yemen. In every individual person in Yemen, the, the life has stopped. And here I'm showing that mm -hmm. this is like a family. They are all together, holding themselves together. And they are frozen. They cannot move. The life has been completely... Uh, stop, you know, and they are living where they six years ago, and now the war they have 
all the future, all the hopes have been frozen. And to that, I'm showing here a simple family. And mm -hmm. here again, a person who is always, you can see the, the uh, some flowers and birds and sun and moon, which are growing mm -hmm. uh, as a hope on, on this face. And you can see it all around it. You can see flowers. And it, this, this is a kind of hope of every person who want to do better in future, who want to live a better life. Is it and a symbol is of, of, is it a, like growing? Is it? Yeah, naturally. Like so I, I, you know, the, the, our life is down. The face is, we are down uh, uh, under the earth. But the hope is coming out of it, you know. You Amazing. can say it's growing, actually. You can say the flowers, the bird has a hope or sun and moon, which is always on the surface. So that is my uh, uh, philosophy in this kind of painting, which is completely a new approach. This, this is a home is for, the heartbreaking for one. hundreds of thousand children died during the six, uh, six years. And mostly suffering is, or mostly other children, newborn babies. And that really made me feel uh, very bad. And I paid a homage to the kids who had the right to live. And uh, they, it, the world doesn't know anything about it. They just only want their uh, materialistic life and their commercial life and their future. They never think about other part of the world uh, that how the people are surviving, actually. It's and difficult. here, this is a very famous uh, one, which uh, alabaster had, which were, were found in uh, during the history of uh, my uh, uh, Hemiaric and Sabian time. They used to put the head in the graveyard. It is more or less at present, we are living such a life where every head is being frozen and there is sun and moon on the it, you know. And this is what I'm showing with the uh, historical uh, uh, approach. And it, this is the head which is always seen. Here, my queen with the hoopy bird, it has been uh, also frozen. The future, the future of it has been frozen. Mm -hmm. And uh, as you must be uh, knowing that I'm painting this queen for almost 35 years. And this is, again, I bring it to this present time of six years where I show my queen has been frozen in her uh, this crystal formation. Uh, but there is still hope with a hopey bird in her hand. How I am continuing. And of course, I'm quite known for so many years for Tana City since I love this city. I've been doing... You can say thousands of watercolor. This is what, what kept you in Yemen, isn't it? You know, the yeah, old yeah. city and, and, and the and colorful the clothes. So yeah. The city is so beautiful that I think all my life I'm going to paint Sana City. And watercolor, the, the medium watercolor is such a beautiful uh, medium for me that it gives a nice uh, light and shade of the city. I can really capture it so well with it. I'm so happy with it. That's why it makes me do lots of uh, views from Tana City. So you can easily understand uh, why I have to do this because the light is so good in the city that uh, it, it, it creates a masterpiece every time I do this watercolor on uh, on it. You have so I've done details. a lot of uh, watercolor and uh, this is also one of the very uh, uh, recent work where I'm uh, showing uh, the early morning and there are some birds flying and it's such a beautiful, uh, peaceful feeling in, on the city which I'm often, uh, I'm so happy to paint it. And I, I, I have a lot of watercolors I've been doing. And, and I'm very happy to, uh, it, it satisfy me a, a lot when I, I'm, I do watercolor. You know, I'm very comfortable with it. And I like to show them often. And I'm so happy that uh, I'm doing in watercolor. There are not much artists doing watercolor in this country. But uh, that is why I'm very happy that uh, I have a big series of it. Okay, so, so tell me, tell me about the medium that you uh, that you like to use. So watercolor is is would it be your favorite? Watercolor is a favorite because of the city. Because I I uh, when I paint uh, whenever I paint the mm. the Sana city, the perfect medium is watercolor for me because I can capture the perfect light and shade, or in fact I can create more than light and shade, and the city become like, uh, you know, alive in, in my work. And for that reason, I, I, it, it let me work a lot because the city, you can paint 
thousands of paintings and you think you still you are starting again because you you are not you are not satisfied at all you want to make more and more work you know there's and so much that, detail in 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 uh, in the beautiful as some people would describe the, the sana old city is like caking uh, what's it called like icing on a cake um with the, the point is every building the has a design there is a nice decoration patterns and design which i often capture and i love to capture those uh, details of the city that's why as it become a unique uh, painting when i so they, they, they don't believe it that there is a city like this in in this world and we are so proud we yemeni are so proud of this city i guarantee you that there is not there is the one of the most beautiful city in the world i think and for that reason i, I have been often uh, excited to paint again and again and again and but every time i paint i always get different lane anything i paint from sana city is completely a different view so yeah. that way i'm i'm very happy that uh, i'm i'm staying in sana and uh, it let me forget all the war situations and yeah. you're quite happy that, <laughs> yeah, I, i that is what you you must be surprised that uh, an artist uh, i uh, many people are depressed you know at at some point but it never let me this city never let me depressed i'm so happy that uh, I, i'm it's okay this is uh, what our uh, destiny of where, where we have been stuck into this war well, we'd But love to have day, you um we'd love to have you come over to dublin again and probably uh, you you you've tried you've gone to so many different countries anyway you've been have you been to paris and i think you yeah, yeah. into I, dubai I've been to a lot uh, all yeah, your yeah i was in a, with him <laughs> when i went to paris he was the one to let me see a lot of galleries and things like that and he was he was so helpful and i'm mm-hmm. always remembering him whenever i uh, think about paris you know yeah. and i've been traveling a lot i've been traveling a lot and uh, I, if the war finish i hope it finish soon and you will be seeing me again traveling around europe many many people are like to call me to make a show mm-hmm. and i'm that's why i'm now preparing a lot of works so mm-hmm. when the time will come right I will I'm going to travel with my collection. Well, I still have three of your paintings. So if anybody's interested, <laughs> Yeah, I know it's it's good. You I'm can get it on, on your wall for them. Free. Then. So <laughs> always remember me with my work. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. Well, thank so you very nice much. You. Thank you very nice much, Ms. Hall. I will inshallah in future hope to see you. Yeah, I hope soon. I see you in Yemen. And Not my regards to yeah, this project. I'll come to Yemen and I'll have Salta and Asid and all the all the beautiful things. Oh yes, please do come beautiful to my home. Beautiful things that your that your lovely wife cooks. <laughs>